I'm Maddie. And I'm Nick. We're here to show you this year's 15 finalist videos for Samsung Cell for Tomorrow. Let's take a look. East Greenwich High School, Rhode Island. Students observed plastic pollution in their local waterways. They designed and tested several alternative biodegradable plastics. East Greenwich is a small community on the western side of Rhode Island, and like many of the state's communities, it is located on or close to Narragansett Bay. As students in a coastal town in a state that is highly dependent on a clean environment to support its fishing and tourism industries, we have become increasingly concerned about the volume of plastics used in the community that end up in local waterways in Narragansett Bay. Although most people dispose of plastics in an appropriate manner, those who don't have negatively impacted the environment. To combat pollution and raise awareness in our community, our biotechnology class at East Greenwich High School decided to research and create biodegradable plastics from renewable resources. To begin, we conducted research concerning the volume of plastics in the town and along the coastline. Through statistical analysis, we calculated and extrapolated the average plastic waste per square kilometer of East Greenwich. Given our findings, we concluded that creating biodegradable bioplastics would be highly beneficial to our community. The next step of our project involved researching and engineering various types of biodegradable plastics from renewable resources. We realized that plastics are a practical, functional, and inexpensive resource, but finding a way to reduce our dependence on petrochemical polymers and having them biodegrade in a reasonable time frame after their functional use is ideal. Therefore, we consulted with a plastic research scientist from a nearby manufacturing company to seek some technical advice. We then selected four different types of plastics we could make from organic materials, including two cornstarch recipes, potatoes, and milk. Next, we tested each plastic under different conditions and monitored them degrading over time. We exposed them to varying environmental factors and monitored them on a weekly basis. These conditions included UV radiation, temperature changes using a laboratory oven, and submerging the plastics in both fresh water and salt water. We also buried them in soil rich in microorganisms. The plastics will be kept in these conditions for the remainder of the school year and checked periodically. We will test for any type of degrading by checking the mass and density as well as their brittleness compared to each other. To educate the community about plastic disposal, we created a website that explains our project. We also created a Twitter account to inform the community about our work with bioplastics and met with our town officials to explore the possibility of a plastic bag ban in East Greenwich. In addition, we utilized our district listserv to encourage people to limit their use of harmful plastics. Ultimately, we hope to raise awareness about plastics as an ecologically detrimental form of pollution. The project will continue in the future, being repeated next year and expanded through other science classes. In addition, the community outreach will continue through the school's environmental club. We would like to thank everyone who gave their time to make this project possible. I really like that. Want to vote for your favorite finalists? Go to samsung.com solve to learn how. Ready, set, vote. vote.